number one cable news show for 13 years running. Thanks for with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in the weekdays of Bernie segment tonight. Husbands and wives, brothers and sisters who may be too powerful. Listen to this. ABC News President Ben Sherwood is the brother of Elizabeth Sherwood Randall, a top national security advisor to President Obama. CBS News President David Rhodes, a brother of Benjamin Rhodes, another national security advisor to President Obama. CNN, Deputy Washington Bureau Chief Virginia Mosley, married to Tom Nidus, a former Deputy Secretary of State under Hillary Clinton. White House Press Secretary Jay Carney, married to Claire Shipman, an ABC News correspondent. And Vice President Biden's Communication Director Shayla Murray, married to Neil King, one of the Wall Street Journal's top political reporters. Joining us now from North Carolina to sort it all out, Bernie Goldberg. Does this trouble you at all, Bernie? Not in and of itself, Bill, but it's it's complicated, so let me explain. First, you know, there are a lot of critics who've been saying that too many reporters are in bed with this administration. Based on what you just said, it's literally true. I mean, if, if you're a reporter and your wife works at the White House, you're in bed with this administration. Second, reporters are always lecturing politicians and just about everybody else about how they have to avoid even the appearance of a conflict of interest. Apparently, these rules apply to everybody, but not to re- journalists themselves, because this certainly sounds, it certainly well, let me, appears. Let me stop you there, because I want to be fair now. Look, a guy like Sherwood and a guy like Rhodes, they work their way up. You just don't get appointed at ABC News president or CBS News president. You start a journalistic career, you work your way up. Along the way, you get married to somebody who's in politics. You don't know where they're going to wind up. All right. So therefore, you get a powerful position and your spouse gets a powerful position. But it's not that way from the beginning. So it's almost what? happenstance. Hey, Bill, why do you think I wasn't going to go there? I mean, l- let me answer your question and I'll, I'll get to that. I, I thought of that. So it appears to be a conflict of interest. We could agree on that. But just because it appears to be doesn't mean it is. There are rules that the news organization set up to avoid any real conflict of interest. Let's use an easy example. Jay Carney is the president's spokesperson, spokesman. He's married to Claire Shipman, an ABC News correspondent. There's no way ABC News is letting her anywhere near the White House, okay? So these things, that's not what troubles me. Here's what does trouble me, though. If you're working for the President of the United States, in this case Barack Obama, you like him and you like his politics. And if you're married to somebody who works for Barack Obama, there's a better than 50-50 chance, a much better than 50-50 chance, that you also like him and you also like his politics. So you have the media, you have the bubble that's filled with media people, that's filled with political operatives, sometimes they're brother and sister, sometimes they're brother and brother, sometimes they're husband and wife. But the people who are journalists pretty much think the same way about President Obama as the people who work for him. That's the problem. Gen- generally speaking, that's true. All right, I, I want to ask you one question about Cheryl Ackeson because we had her. She's a very fine reporter, by the way, a very good correspondent, very tough. If it is somebody attached to the government that hacked into her, that's going to be page one all over the world, correct? Well, l- l- let me put it this way. That's going to be a big story, but I'm not willing to go out on a limb and say, what newspaper is going to put it on page one? It ought to be on page one. Well, yeah, I think everybody would have one. to. Uh, they, they would have to. Based on the Rosen and the AP stuff, that's just the dam is just going to break right there if, that, if that's proven to be true. It, it probably. And uh, I'm going to have to take it, you know, very, very. From my interview with her, I think she knows who did it. Did you get yeah. that sense? Uh, absolutely. Okay. I don't know if she's right, but I think she, I think she believes she knows. With who certainty, did it. Yeah. yeah, she, she's certain she knows who do it, and if she knows, that means her attorneys know, and you and our attorneys are. 